right now we're going to get familiar with the general user interface video sam was built based on the microsoft user interface from the if you look if you are familiar with some of the recent uh, softwares from microsoft like uh, microsoft word powerpoint it's a similar ui so if you're familiar with them it shouldn't be difficult to get used to here it's the same principle the same design principle first of all we'll be looking at the agenda now this area here is called the agenda panel the agenda is useful mainly for when you already have an order of service maybe there's a, a list containing the exact songs that will be ministered in the coming service you already have a list of the scriptures that will be read in the coming service it could be maybe a marriage service because we often don't get to use the agenda in church services like uh, sunday services because a lot of those scriptures or songs that are sung often they are spontaneous so we don't really know what to expect we just have everything available but if it's a service that is already planned let's say it's a marriage occasion a marriage ceremony you know okay these are the songs that are going to be ministered these are the scriptures that will be read you could just come the previous day or even before the service begins and list those things out make them available from the song books or from the bible just save them to the agenda and right here you can see from here there is an option to open an agenda there is an option to add a, a document maybe a pdf file a word document a lot of things you could add to the agenda even a video images uh, audios things like that you could also uh, copy agenda items or delete agenda items so these are the, the things that are available to you right here in the agenda panel and you know the best part is you could list those things maybe the previous day list out whatever it is that is going to be presented in the next service and come over here and just click save you name it and keep it out there so the next day when you just come in you just open video sam and you could click on open an agenda and load load in whatever it is you saved the previous day and all your songs whatever it is that you saved previously will be listed here so instead of going back in here to search through bibles or songs you just click on whatever it is and it's ready to go so that's that for the agenda panel and like i said it's mostly useful when you have an order of service the next panel we're going to be looking at here is the song books and bibles song books and bibles panel now don't forget you could easily adjust the size of this interface so you can focus on whatever it is you're working on so with these uh, lines here you can easily adjust these panels the size of these panels so you know what to focus on right now let's look at the song books now this area is where you get a list of your or a list of songs whether you imported them or you downloaded them from the internet or you added them yourself here's where all your song books and songs will be listed now we'll be looking taking a deeper look into the song books during the setup process also here we also have the bible so when you when you click on the bibles you can easily uh here with right now we don't have any bibles because we haven't imported any bibles or anything same with the song books but when we have those bibles available through the setup process you have them listed out here and you can easily access all your bible versions chapters verses all will be accessible here under the bibles and song books panel so we'll see more of that during the setup process the next area we're going to be looking at is what i would like to call the workspace this is the area where you get to edit stuff this is where you get to type in whatever songs is especially useful when you are adding new songs manually let's say you copy the lyric from the um it, it, you got some song lyrics from the internet and you want to import it or add it to video sound manually so you could just come over here and it's all going to show up here in the workspace where you get to edit the song lyrics do whatever you need to do and save so this is the workspace this is the work area and i guess that's the reason why it's in the middle because that's your major point of focus often so that's that for the work area the next portion we're going to be looking at is the slide the slide panel which is this area here and you notice the slide panel has 
quite a lot of buttons available and we'll be looking at what these buttons do but first of all the slide panel contains the list of items that are ready to go now it's quite similar to the agenda but unlike the agenda you can't just save save stuff no the slide panel is meant to hold items temporarily and when you are done with that category of items or with that set of items it empties itself so the slide panel is only a, a list of items that are ready to go so whatever it is that is on the slide panel is ready to go live the first button here we see here is the the one with the video icon and thankfully video sam has what we call two tips so whenever you just hover your mouse over any of these uh, icons you get tips on what they do and how they function for example here this button shows us the video camera and it says it displays live shooting of a connected camera in the text background so that's what it does is often when you have a live camera connected to your computer and you want to display that on the screen so that's what it's used for the next uh, button here is the next but is the uh, yeah it's the next button it's used to advance to the next uh, item on the slide on the slide panel so let's say we have up to 10 items and you are displaying item number one when you click on the next button you get to item number two and so on and so forth the next uh, item here the next button here currently you can see is activated it's used to switch off the screen it displays as you see here it displays an empty screen of black color simulates simulates a, a switched off beamer so let's assume you have your projector your projector on and it's projecting stuff on the screen and for some reason you want to switch switch off or turn off whatever it is that is showing up there you could just click on this icon right now it's activated and that's part of the reason we have the black background here everything is just black so if you if you had your projector going you you wouldn't see a thing because this particular button is active so it's here to turn off the screen it's, it simulates an empty screen just give you a black background and the next button we're going to be looking at is the text now this button displays the text and something you notice here is most of these buttons they have keyboard shortcuts now keyboard shortcuts are often very useful for the sake of speed i find that a lot of times it's much faster to work with your keyboard shortcuts than actually moving your mouse pointer around and clicking on stuff there's always the possibility you may you may click on the wrong thing but when you're working with your hands on the keyboard it's a lot more is a lot faster and accurate so it's it'll be smart of you to memorize some of these keyboard shortcuts for example here we see the shortcut to display text which is ctrl t and it activates or deactivates this button which is to display a text here we see it, it shows or hides the slide text now that's for when we have songs or scriptures on the screen and maybe you want to take it off without actually switching the screen off so you just want to leave the background rolling at the right there but without the text so with this you could just individually remove the text we'll see this button in action later on when we have our songs and bibles loaded the next portion here is the shield now here like we see from the two tips it says it, it preserves the currently presenting song slide enables you to work on the agenda or search for a song or a bible or a bible verse while presenting a song now here's the thing about uh, video sound unlike uh, some other church presentation softwares i've worked with in the past where there is a specific button to send something send an item to the live screen video sam doesn't exactly work like that even though there is a button to display items live but video sam doesn't really work like that what it does is whatever it is that is on the panel on the slide panel the moment you, you click on it it goes live immediately there is no extra button to okay all right i'm going to select this and then click go live that's not available here on video sam so this is the reason why the shield button is important because of the agenda panel imagine you already have a song going and naturally it's all the verses are listed already at the slide panel and it's already going on screen but for some reason you need to adjust certain things and fix 
your list at the agenda panel and like i said earlier in video sam the moment you click on an item either on the agenda panel or on the slide panel video sam especially on the agenda panel video sam assumes that you're you're ready to go whatever it is you click is ready to go so it sends it to the slide panel and in that case it will replace whatever it is you have going on the slide panel but to prevent that you need the shield icon on so when you turn on the shield icon it acts like a curtain differentiating what should go on stage and what should remain backstage so just think of the shield icon as a curtain allowing you to work on the agenda it's mostly important for when you have agenda items so the next button here we'll be looking at is the freeze button now it's quite similar to the shield except that it's useful for when you already have a live presentation going so let's say there is a, a scripture on the screen and you want to preview a song you just use the freeze icon so the crowd the congregation will keep seeing the last thing you displayed for them it could just be a scripture or just a, 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 te a text a, a message there welcome to church but here in the background you are previewing the next slide let's say the next uh, song that that will be presented you're already pre pre previewing the, the verses to see how it will be displayed on the screen the freeze icon freezes the last uh, presentation the last slide you are presenting while allowing you work here without any without distracting the crowd and then of course the next button is the present now you can also see the tooltip there it says a uh, control p to make to make the slides live presently it's, it's turned off so we can safely work in video sam and it's like completely severing whatever connections you have to the main screen so video sam as it is without this presentation this present button is just on its own you are on your own here but with the present button active whatever it is you are doing here can then flow to the main projector screens out there so keep that in mind for whenever you want to work with a video sound this button here is imperative that you get used to them the next button here is the uh, mode switcher it helps to switch between the edit mode and the viewer mode now this is often very useful for when uh, you are bringing in new operators or you're bringing in someone who is not exactly familiar with video sound and you fear okay he might mess up certain things but you really need someone to be there to maybe just switch the slides here you can now turn off the edit mode now when we turn it off notice the interface is a lot simpler now and easier to work with none of those extra extras are showing up because right now it's set to whatever it is you've set it to so the only things that are available to the user are the slides you've made available to show up so they can't edit anything they can't edit any songs they can't change anything else no all that's available is what you've made available so it's actually very useful for when you have newcomers or uh, someone who is unfamiliar with the software so you could just tell them all right i have a list of slides here all you need to do is just push the down arrow key to switch from slide to slide and that's all but for when you you as an advanced user you know okay i have to change certain things or edit certain things on the fly you just activate the edit icon and then it switches the mode for video sound and it's one of the reasons why i think it's really powerful really powerful uh, church presentation software and down here of course you have the preview panel this is where you get to see whatever it is that's going to be displayed on the screen or you get to see whatever it is that is currently being displayed on the screen lastly we're going to look at the panel up here this is called a ribbon it was introduced by Microsoft and if you are familiar with Microsoft Word of course you will understand this style and these are different tabs or uh, that, that contain things you can change or edit it helps you work with text and edit stuff we'll be working with this ribbon and the panels over here as time goes on so that's that basically for this panel over here we have the save button the new song and everything you see here can also be accessible down here with, within any of these tabs so these are I, I, I think these basically are just shortcuts so that's that for the interface the general user interface it's it was built to be as simple as possible 
So we'll look at these things more in depth as we work. I 